I'm worried about Jeff tonight at my house a little bit because what have you felt there at Sally House? It is going to be tenfold. Oh my God! What the? What the? What the? Ah! Oh, this is a good picture. Good picture. This could be our darkest case yet. Hi, my name's Steve Trumbull. I am the owner of the 1322 Maple House of the Dead. And this house is haunted. It is extremely haunted. And we have a demon. Remember I told you it flies all the time? Oh my God. But that's a pentagram. And these kids were fooling around with it here did some things. And do you think it's dangerous to be talking to this thing? Absolutely. That's why we don't let people spend the night here. So this is blood right here. That is blood here on the side. Let's try to pray and see if it pisses this thing off. Ah. It almost just laughed at me saying yeah. we should pray. You have a name, big demon? The Bone Breaker. Oh. So this house is built on top of bodies. On top of bodies. There's still bodies in this area all the way around us. On tonight's episode of The Paranormal Files, we're investigating a house built on top of over 100 dead bodies. This is the House of the Dead here in Atchison, Kansas. The paranormal activity inside of this home behind me is so intense that the owner himself refuses to stay in the house past midnight. And he in fact does not allow people to stay overnight for one full night. That's because he's so concerned about what these entities could do to you. Tonight on The Paranormal Files, we're about to come face to face with this dark entity that the owner describes as being a demon. And not just any demon, he knows this demon's name, he knows where it hangs out, and he knows just how much harm it can do to the human body. So please, as we always say before we do these sorts of episodes, if you're watching online, even if you're on your couch sitting comfortably under a blanket eating a snack, these entities are known to be able to travel through electronics, through Wi-Fi signals. I don't know how the hell that happens, but it does happen. We've had people get scratched while watching our videos. We've had people's windows shatter in their houses. This is not something to play around with, and according to the owner and what we just learned on this tour, this could be our darkest case yet. But anyways, make sure you're protected. We love y'all so much, and welcome to this extremely dark and gruesome episode of The Paranormal Files. Now, normally we investigate haunted locations that are infamous, that paranormal investigators know. But in this video, we're investigating a place that nobody really has ever heard of, the House of the Dead in Atchison, Kansas. This is a small home located only three minutes away from the infamous Sally House. And the owner of this place claims that the energy here is darker than at the Sally House. He's experienced all sorts of crazy phenomena. He's had psychics throw up. Psychics say they won't enter the home. They found symbols written all throughout the house. There's mysterious items and artifacts inside of the home from the past owners. And on top of all of that, the place is supposedly built on top of a graveyard. Now it's been confirmed that there is a graveyard right there. And historians do think that there's a graveyard underneath this home. So holy shit, there's a lot of dark energy here. And once again, if you're watching this video, I want you to pray, bless, uh, protect yourself, do whatever you have to do to ward off any evil energy that may come from viewing this video because yeah, you're about to learn some dark things and this video is about to get dark itself. So it's really interesting to do a place that isn't really as known as other places, um, but still had such a deep history to it. And while we were there, we just wanted to learn more about what happened to this place. So at first we met up with the owner of the House of the Dead, Steve, um, and we wanted him to give us a tour like he does to his haunted taxi patrons around the city of Atchison, Kansas. He said he had some some places he wanted to bring us by that would link to the story of the home and, and give us more insight into why Atchison is considered to be the most haunted town in all of Kansas and one of the most haunted towns in America. So yeah, we were in for a little treat as we went on a joyride with Steve around town. 
Hi, my name is uh, Steve Trumbull. I own 1322 Maple House of the Dead. We also run the Haunted Taxi behind us here, which you guys see right there. And uh, our house is demonic, and we're excited to have you guys to see what it's like. It is one crazy place. We are right now at Mount Vernon Cemetery, and we're going to walk around the cemetery and talk about it a little bit, and then we'll head back eventually back to our house. So I appreciate you guys coming out tonight, and we're excited to see you. Yeah, he's already been telling us some really scary shit. So. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> it's just the beginning, man. All right, so, so right here, um, you know, you guys know that the cemetery was uh, actually uh, uh, segregated by race. I think I told you that. Uh, one segment's African Americans, one's Jewish, and one is Caucasian. The cemetery itself, well, the first body was in 1864. This is a pretty haunted cemetery, but uh, the big thing is, is we put a lot of these flags up because after 100 years, nobody will never know who you are. When you had, I had a near-death experience, okay? And so my, my blood pressure was at 240 for a week, okay? Okay, wow. so it's really, really bad. After it ended, I start. I didn't really, you know, I just started feeling different things like your dad does a little bit. I know your dad, what he feels is that same thing. And at my house, I have something there for you guys to get the feeling of what your dad feels like. I actually designed something mm -hmm. so you guys can actually feel what that feels like. We had one of the top psychics in the world write our tour, and she told me, she said, the house picked you you didn't pick the house which I find mm, you know it's just that kind of scares me a little bit anyway my wife sure don't like to hear that but the bottom line is is the house it is it is crazy but it, it kind of ties into Atchison here a little bit because a lot of that time period was from here when they you know uh, and they had a lot of pandemics come through obviously a Spanish flu and they had the tuberculosis and they've had a lot of things that where people were, were going through a lot of different stuff that happened in town here. And so what they did is they buried them here in this area. There's actually three big ones. Um, there's here, Oak, Oak Hill and Taylor are the three cemeteries that we run into all the time. Atchison is a, considers themselves the most haunted town in Kansas. I kind of think they're the most haunted town in the United States. Uh, and I've told Jill this, Jill, the, the Chamber of Commerce, I think, you know, they, because Amelia Earhart, all the kids you got, you know, kids that are younger, if I said Amelia Hart, you know she is? Of course. Yeah. A lot of people do not. Yeah. That's crazy. But if you say Sally House or <laughs> McIntyre, yep. they'll know. They do. Okay. <laughs> All right. He actually died at his post. Kind of cool, right? I've never seen a grave like that. Is that amazing? He actually died on his post. On August 29th, 1882, this story ran in the Atchison Daily Globe, featuring a train engineer with an eerie tale, while on a recent run late at night, he saw a phantom engine coming around a curve. He also saw an engineer looking out the window of that train. It was a man he knew well, Britt Kraft. But the problem with what that engineer saw, Britt Kraft was dead, killed a few weeks earlier, and buried in this Atchison Cemetery. But on his grave marker, a clue to explain what his friends saw, the fading message here, honor to the dead who die to save others. Running his train on that summer night, Britt Kraft came around a bend to see the bridge he was about to cross on fire. While too late to stop the entire train, he brought the engine to a stop on the burning bridge, knowing he wouldn't survive the fire, but that his passengers would escape. Kraft became a hero, a legend, who may have wanted one more ride. His fellow engineer who saw that phantom had no doubt, saying, I have seen the ghost of Britt Kraft's engine. I'm worried about Jeff tonight at my house a little bit. I am worried about him there, I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, Cause what have you felt there at Sally House? It is going to be tenfold. Yeah. That's... Okay. So I just want you to know. But the Sally House is extremely haunted. It, I believe, it has the Z Demon. I don't like using their names, but I believe it has the Z Demon. You guys know who that is, right? Hello. Holy shite, boy! <laughs> Mom, I mean to tell you, you guys scare. I don't like to use their names. Really? I do not because you have it power. I have brought it on three different occasions from my house. My partner's been twice. We're worried about some of our health a little bit. I've had some things, just little things happen. It was kind of weird, but the weird. The tour was interesting, but we wanted to go inside to see what lurked within this house. And it seemed like the moment we opened the door, something was waiting for us. Oh my God! Did you guys feel that? Yeah. It's like an impression. It almost like you get that feeling right when you get here. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. Quick, quick, take your picture, quick, your picture, 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 here, right away. <laughs> I told you guys. I wasn't fing around with it, so all I'm gonna do is I'm, first thing first is I want you holy cow. That's a, that's my motion detector going off yeah. right between here. So here's what we're <laughs> it's, it's hot it's hot. So here we're gonna do is we're gonna have you guys set your stuff up right here. Hi, my name's Steve Trumbull. I am the owner of the 1322 Maple House of the Dead. We also own the Haunted Taxi and Fearcation Travel. Well, we actually bought this house a year ago, and this house is haunted. It is extremely haunted, and we have a demon in it. It's always something happening here. We've already already had a lot of things, doors open, and it closes. We have a lot of banging, a lot of things happen. But our big thing is, is when, when they used to be here, they used to be, this used to be called Block 56, and during the haunted trolley, they still talk about it. There's a hundred bodies that are still here. Now we think there's about 140 left in the area, left that are, and the rest of the cemeteries at the top. We had one of the top psychics in the world. She had said the cemetery went all the way around us. So there's about 140 bodies still left here. When they buried them, they buried them in two foot grace and they did not treat them real good on this side of town because they were, you know, black on this side of town. And so they buried them here and they didn't let, you know, they were actually, the, the, the cemetery was built right around that block called Block 56, this area. So this house is built on top of bodies. Yeah, on top of bodies. There's still bodies in this area all the way around us. And at the very top of the street, there's still the cemetery at the very top. You can actually see parts of that cemetery. And in the back, there's still, there's still tombstones at the back back here and they used to be all the way around but they were little wooden graves little wooden crosses like that and so what they would do is when they pulled them up they did they didn't know how many were left here when they moved them and wow. they eventually moved them and they said they moved them to uh, taylor to oak, oak hill also to uh to mount vernon cemetery along the way so uh to this day uh, if you take the haunted trolley tour uh they'll take you up there and they, they tell you about 100 bodies are still left and so we think that that's how many are here. That's why we bought the house, because we knew that's what this was part of. So what's the history of the actual structure of the house? The house was built in 1926. It was the first house before that was the cemetery was here before that. But in 1926, this house was built and it was the first house in the area. We were the first house in this whole area here. And then eventually it all kind of filled in around us and it's still here. And you know, the old, the old things with the three little pigs, build your house out of straw, out of uh, sticks or out of brick. Well, this house is made out of brick and it's really strong structure. And so, and you can see it here. Um, it, when we bought it, um, it was not like this, okay, guys, it was a lot of problems. It took us about six months to kind of get it all cleaned up and ready to go and get it going again. And so along the way, we'd come in here, we'd come back from where we were at, we'd come back and we'd find tools on the floor. We'd hear like that noise upstairs. We're constantly hearing our voices being, you know, I'll call out our names. Uh, anytime we show up in here, doors would open up on their own. Um, we'd have... You know, whatever happened and along the side of the house, what really finally sold us on the house, we were videotaping on a, on a haunted, haunted taxi tour, and we, these women picked up an orb turning into a, a figure right along the side of the house. And that was kind of the final straw that said, hey, we're going to buy it. And so my business partner, he runs American Shaman uh, at 151 in Olathe, and we decided to go and buy the house. And so we have uh, since been here uh, for uh, one year now, just one year. Wow. Okay. So it's pretty recent. It is pretty recent. Pretty it's recent. Well, pretty, that you've actually set this up. Yeah, it's a red Not that it was built. And that oh. pr pretty good, yeah. right? This is the coffin to grave where they used to let wrap them, okay? They wrap them, delice them, and put them in here all the way around us. And so what they, you can actually see with a head here to hear where they were, okay? And so a lot of times in the mornings they would come in and they'd be dead from that night before. They'd wrap them and put them in here. And if you look on the haunted taxi tour and also the trolley tour, they always talk about the hundred bodies that were still here left in the area. Well, this is where they did them. They actually took them, they're called block 56. And this is where they actually started, where they took them and they put them. And they, a lot of them laid and stayed in that house right there. 
and so that's why it's so haunted. There's, we, we, think we've at least, we think at least 15 different people have laid and stayed in that house. Okay, at least, at least 15. Uh, we also had a kid up in the attic who actually had a sledding accident. He slid, my, I like my partner's way he talks about it. He split him in half, it did. Now, all I know is it cut him up and he bled to death. He likes women. When we're here, it always messes with women, a lot. And so, but this is where they would lay them here. We actually have a game called, uh, 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 we actually called Dead Meat. We can actually lay here, take some pictures, and we get you to feel for that. So let me show you down here, take you guys down here where the graves are still, there's still some down here. Okay, so we come back here. If you look back here, there's still, right? Ugh. There's still areas here where there's the bodies here. If you look back here, up here by the tree, yeah, there's just a freaking, you can still see some of the remnants of the tombstones right there, you see them right there? Oh, there yeah. and there, there's still tombstones all the way up along that ridge there that are still here to this day. And they're still here to this day and at the top of the street, there's the ones that are left. And then they're also in our basement. I'll show you guys some stuff they have left there. Lee did when he was working here. This is what they look like, they're what's left. Mm -hmm. and, but, so, but they were here for many, many, many eons. And like I said, there's a lot. Okay, there's a stone. There's another stone by the tree on the other side there. There's one further up here. We have some big deer come through here too. We also have a bald eagle comes through here. Really? Kind of cool. Yeah, a big old eagle comes through. <laughs> so we'll come on out. Some of the areas of our house, like I said, this one I mow, the woman always yells at me for this window right here. My mm -hmm. neighbors see, see the lights of the lady upstairs show up. And I'm gonna show you guys this here real quick here. I'm gonna pull up here. Hey. <laughs> that door was closed when we left. Yep, I saw it. That door was closed when we left. Look, the lights come on in the back, back there. The lights in there yeah. gone in inside there. Ooh. You guys okay? Yeah, yeah. I told you. Come on. <laughs> you know, that's another thing. We see a lot of bugs in this area. That's one thing we see, which is kind of crazy to the house. This is where we saw that entity come through here a lot. It moves around here in this area a lot, and it goes down through into the basement. But I'm going to show you guys some things. So yeah, so let, let me show you guys around here real quick here. And I, I wanna start running some ghost equipment too, okay, you guys mind? Because sure. we wanna make sure you guys get that, we get that feel because a lot of this is, um, what I'm gonna t show you in, in the house, we have a lot of things happening over throughout le different levels, okay? So let me first, so I'm gonna run this one here. And this one to run. set these right here and you're going to hear a lot of different things that are happening so let's start out here okay so when we first got the house my first thing is was this I wanted to have it like a 1926 kind of a um, feel for that time period so I bought these radios and that now my wife went to estate sales with me we bought it but this is the most amazing thing you see all these batteries here these are from this house we go through batteries like this gets changed every two weeks all our smoke detectors go off at about two to three weeks on a regular basis we're constantly changing batteries all the time here because uh, it's just one one massive battery sucker okay we actually if you saw the video we actually, our cameras all, all, we have seven cameras in the house. All seven of them recently turned off at once. We couldn't figure out why. And so we, by one by one, we turned them, we got them back on, but they're all upside down. They're all upside, all our cameras are upside down. But when we turned this back on, we found that we saw a woman looking out here through this right lens here. So you guys can see that. I will send some the video with Colin so he can show all that. Uh, but um, these cameras, when you're here, they don't go on you. They'll go on everywhere where you're not. And then let me show you guys in here. We have a lot of problems with these sticks. There's a reason people always ask me, why are these sticks up? Because they get thrown out of here a lot. We come back and our sticks are on the floor. They're moving around. The other thing is too, when we go in that kitchen, I'm gonna show you guys some things. But let's start in here. Let me take a picture of this little shack. All right, yeah, take a picture of the Take your time. Who wants to go first? I gotta make sure everything's off. There you go. Okay, there you go. One at a time. Take off. You all right? 
This one, we came here, we left it pretty the same, what it was when we came here. This is the, the basement, so come on in, everybody come on in. So I got a question for you. Why would you have locks on all this? We had eight owners in 10 years in this house, okay? And so we also brought these prayer chairs. So if you see these prayer chairs right here, these chairs, we actually got these from uh, Lucy McMahon. From, she's from the area, and she gave us these chairs to use in the, the place. And she said these were from in uh, Marquette, Kansas, and they used to have uh, in the Odd Fellows there. And these are prayer chairs. And we think this guy must have been some kind of a, a big wig, because this is, is different than everybody else's. Now, we also have a game here we call it called uh, Mr. Sandman. So everybody takes their turn, and then they call out Mr. Sandman, Mr. Sandman. We close this, and then we call it out. Without that mirror there, sometimes you'll see things here. It's really odd. It's very odd. My God, we have a game called Mr. Sandman, Mr. Sandman, when you're here. The other thing, too, is why would you have a fake wall? Okay? Right? It's very odd. Have an odd wall in here, a fake wall like this comes through here. So I'm going to show you guys a couple more things here as we walk around. We'll go ahead and come on. <laughs> that door's now open again. Look. What the hell? That door's closed. It's open again. I'm telling you guys, it constantly will open and close on its own. You see it? Okay. So I'm going to leave this one like this. I just heard it say it's open on the device. It'll constantly, that's why we run, we run that in here because we want them to be able to communicate to you. The big thing is, is look, ghosts are high spirits. They're spirits. That's all spirit boxes are, are spirits. This, this is a demonic house. This has got a, this has a truly been sealed. And I'm going to show you downstairs what happened, what they did. But the thing about this house is the, the creep factor on this, when they always open and close, let's just go ahead and close this one. Come back and okay. Let's see if I'm gonna leave it like that. Let's see if you open and close it. You got it? <laughs> All right, so okay, we'll take you back. I like this place. The woman here before us, they hadn't been in here since about 2017, was the last time they were here. By the way, you have batteries, you're always on camera. These are these are running right now, but they're up here. That right there, that mirror, they used to watch that door right there and that's what she would look at to see but because remember I showed you why would you have locks because you're trying to keep whatever's there in there okay so we'll come on back in here did you hear that yeah what did it say it said I think it I thought it used your name so I'm going to show you guys this real quickly so when we got to this house, a couple things we did. We started going through the upstairs. We started finding things. This is off an old straight jacket. This actually was up in the attic right here, this piece right here. You see this right here? I don't like to touch it. And then we have a lot of these pieces showed up at the chimney, and we found women's clothing up in the attic. Okay, and I'm going to tell you something later on that we're going to do. So you found all this stuff? All this stuff that throughout the week came by the chimney. Or, you know, mainly in the chimney. Once in a while we found it down and we'd just show up. We'd come here down in the dirt and we'd be down there. So let me show you guys this here. So when we got this house, we started noticing all our cupboards would open and close on their own. They're always open. So when we were here, these doors, okay, these doors, this door right here has flies in here year round. You see them in here year round. They never go away. And that's where that 12 and a half, that face that you saw on that video, which I'll put to you, Colin, that it, it's 12 and a half feet in the air. That's where it was. And we actually do called haunted deprivation in here. Also, too, one spirit. The other thing, too, is I was cleaning the carpets, and it, my partner was the king of old English. You know, old English, wiping down everything. I used to go home and have old English all over me. I was doing the carpets, and I came down, and I noticed this. This is blood, this is blood, this is blood. And this here, if you can tell me what that says, 
That would be great because we've had a lot of different people. We had a demonologist try to tell us what this is. You guys know that there is a... Uh, Steve. <laughs> okay, so it doesn't like, it, it, first off, it doesn't like, when I give this away, I, I'm telling you guys something, what's happened here, there's some nefarious things happen here. Why would you have black blood all over this here? This right here would, that we would find this like this, and it scared me so much, I was doing the carpets, I left. Really? I ended up leaving, I left the house, called Mike, my partner, I said, Mike, did, did you see this? He said, no. He said, I old English that the day before. Now, we've actually got some markers. I'll point those out. We got down in the basement. We had a demonologist look at them. He said, those are actual demon markings, and I will show them to you. But these flies are here January, February, March, all the time. They never go away. Wow. So this is blood right here. That is blood. Here on the side. Off that side here. Oh. Okay. Let's go this way, come around this way. And this is the heart. We have two hearts in the house. That's upstairs. That's where we're going to go. Look how spooky that is. <laughs> That's <laughs> That's a creepy. So our eight ball is down. This is eight ball. Now tennis ball, oh, where's where? This is Mr. Bones. This is the restroom here. Obviously, I, this is the only light in the entire house, people. This is what we had. I wanted people to get... Shh. Hey, bang. So you look right here. What we did in here is each Mike and me were out trying to outdo each other on these, this house. So along the way, he would buy something and I would buy something and we were a lot of them from the dark web, obviously. But we, he, this was actually from Translunagania, this one right here. And this is from a garage sale, right here. It's from a garage sale. And so what we did is I wanted you to get, your dad is a sensitive, right? Papa Spooks. And so I wanted you guys to get a feel what it's like to do this. And I'll have you guys do this tonight. I'll have you try this and see what this is up so you get a feel for this. Uh, by sitting in this, you'll get that feeling, okay? Yeah. okay. All right? Yeah, all right? Yeah. All right. And this is the only light in the whole house for you. And by the way, these are all haunted lithograms. I actually bought them online. Bought them oh, yeah. And I'll show you guys how to do this. Experiment. That is creepy shit. Okay, so, so, and then the eight ball is always down. We'll get that out of the way. When you get to the top of the stairs, you're going to feel completely different as we head up there, okay? Their house, when we got here, I'm in this side, and this is my favorite part of the house. Didn't think anything about this room, okay? So we brought that psychic in here. She came up here with us, and she said, this is the heart of the house. I said, okay, knock it off. I said, this is my movie room here. She said, no, no. She said, you're not picking this up. I said, no. She said, what are those? Those are soundproof. And they're on all the way down the both sides and there's, a, there's an actual platform that goes across with an eye bolt put into the ground. So let me ask you guys, what would you be doing with that? Because right here is where they put them in. Really? So why would you, why would you, why would you be doing that? On each side, look, both sides, they're both, they're soundproof. Now our house is the only house that was in the area, it was here. And if you see it, it goes all the way on both sides, and I'll show it to you. We get under there, you can actually see it. But on that, if those were actually here, these were actually here when we got here. And so I didn't pick this up, and she said, you've had many, many women through here. And I'm not going to tell you what they did to them, but they did some bad things to them in the basement. So let's go show you here, okay? Come on in here. So this is where they put them in at. These are the doors oh, on wow. both sides, okay? And so that's where they run. So we'll run them in here. By the way, since Colin here, this is where Dirty Gertie and her, his, her gang is. Our, our dolls are up here. Our, we have a Holocaust doll that's here at the house. And um, when you come, uh, she's under lock and key. And we have, you know, we make sure that she's safe because we want, she's, she is quite haunted. So we'll come on in here. Now my question is this, okay? Before we get any further, I want you to look at that camera. Okay? Okay. I want you to watch that camera. I'm gonna do nothing but you have you guys put your your cameras on it and watch it. Somebody down there. It moves a oh, five, there it five, is. four or five hundred times a day. 
all the time, everywhere, but where you're not. We're going to go through these pictures tonight, and you're going to be amazing. By the way, I apologize. Our little air conditioner has not been working quite as good. I know. Okay. It's way better in here than anywhere Okay, so. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. isn't that crazy, though? I mean, yeah. it's a constant. Me. So we're going to take you in here. This is, you got your, Colin, Colin said he's excited about Psychomantrium, so we're going to bring you in here, and we'll show you this. My light's going. This is always an area we have a lot of issues. So if you see here, that's the outside. Now this will turn. This is that camera I showed you in the car that's broken. Yep. This is the one that was broken. This right here, these are all the things we keep finding to show up down here, right in this area. And these are the psychomantriums. Another thing we've noticed about our psychomantriums is these, these symbols here. Are they like the basement yes. ones? We've been noticing that. You said Jared again. Did you hear that? Uh -huh. That was the guy we had problems with. Okay, so... Real quickly, this is our haunted doll collection. They're always being thrown. We come back, and all the stuff is always somebody behind you. Eve. Steve. Steve. It just said it's Steve. <laughs> is that crazy? So we come right here, and you look. By the way, I got these mirrors from Penhurst. They're shaving mirrors. By the way, this is too interesting. Remember I told you there's flies all the time? Oh, you, oh, oh my God. They never go away. They're here year-round. Oh, and they're flies. Yeah. Those are ladybugs and flies. They're always here. And it gets, this is where, if you watch, we watch our video and I'll show it to you. We have an entity that looks like, just like this out, right here. He's looking out. We've got him on picture. This is Dirty Gertie. This is what Dirty Gertie does. These are our dolls, haunted dolls. And this one's from England. Uh, we've got several that we, this one down here. We got these two from the dark web and they're constantly being thrown, these two uh, here. And this one here. Um, this is John Wayne Gacy. Uh, this is the key. You know, we have John Wayne. John Wayne Gacy sometimes will move. We'll catch him rocking and moving. Also, two here. These dolls right here. Um, my partner bought this one from the dark web, and this one actually is supposed to have a cat spirit in it. I don't know about that, but they, some, <laughs> they did a voodoo or something. But the dolls, we'll put them up, and they'll go right back down. <laughs> Finally, this is Dirty Gertie, people. This is Dirty Gertie. She has a holy trinity. You can see her here on the, and there and there. She's the one that you guys will read about her right here. But this is what's interesting about Dirty Gertie. When you look at her right here, okay, remember I showed you her face? Look, remember I told you, Colin, I said, look, look at the side of this. All three sides clear. Look at this one side over here. See it? this. You see that? Yeah. That's a, that's the only place. And this is where you get like a chest pain up here. People get terrible chest pains when they go where right, you went. You were at back there. I get chest pains to the point. My partner, the business partner, we he changed this out recently. Ran outside. I was mowing. And I said, "Why? What's going on?" He said, "I have to get out of there." He said there was banging. And he said, "When I got in here, I had chest pain. Terrible chest pain." And so we back here. Sick back here. If you look back here. What you say? Sig Heil. I told you guys, it's Hitler. Hit that literally said sick Isle. I told you guys, no, this is this is a, this is a demonic Wait, house. So to explain to people online, this is, doll is linked to Nazi history. This is this this doll is from the Nuremberg trials. This is the Dirty Gertie is from my grandfather was in the Nuremberg trials. He was a translator for Field Marshal Goering and his gang. Mm -hmm. Five of the six five of the six people got end up being t uh, they end up being going to the gallows, and she is actually tied to that. Correct, along with the we got the Hitler book, we actually have safety deposit book. These are actually postcards from Field Marshal Goering. Wow. And she did, he did just say Sig Heil, which is crazy. Yeah. Okay? So that's why we run this. You guys don't understand. Look, ghosts, you, you, people go out there and just try to go, hey, here, put in, pinwheel, pinwheel, that. You need to listen. They're telling you things. And I don't like please, to hear Sig Heil. That was crazy. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> but if you look back here, there's an old door back here. Uh, uh, Connie, you want to look back here, take a look there. And you'll see the door way back there. Way at the back, okay? That door is, leads back to an area that I always have. I went back there and found the ice pick and the stuff that was around here, uh, for here. And I, have, I still have chest pain when I come up here. I don't know what it is, but look behind here. I want you to look behind here. These are women's clothes, so look right behind here. There's women's clothes, and there's the, there's the you can see it all the way down. You see it down here? You see the, the, the landing? Okay, so right here, you see, you see the shoes? You see the, the, all this stuff? These are women's clothing behind here. 
And there's a there's a platform way further. You see it down there now, the platform? We get, so when you take tonight, when you do your video, take pictures of a lot of this up here. Uh, because I'm gonna, I'm gonna take pictures of you guys here in a little bit of your eyes. Because our big thing is we wanna make sure you don't go home with anything, okay? I was crazy that it said Sig Heil. I didn't even yeah, pick that up. That was very clearly what We it heard said. it and we both looked at each other like, you heard that. Right? Right. But, yeah, see, this is why I'm trying to tell you guys. By the way, this is one. Of, this is not cool, right? We actually do seances. We had the Booze Brothers here, and they actually had the, the flashlights running on each side, and they kept 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 then they kept running their headsets, and they kept hearing Gertie, 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 Gertie here. Wow. And that doll is super haunted in there. Super yeah, haunted, yeah. and she is tied to. Yes, That's we'll come down here, and so. We're gonna just kind of let it kind of marinate a little bit. I don't know why the TV, they're here. So I'll come down, we'll take you guys downstairs. All right, let's stop for a second. Because before we get down here, this basement has been demonically sealed. So we have different reactions to some people. That psychic wouldn't even go down there. Okay, so when you go down there, if it starts to mess with you, we need to come, you know, come out of there. Okay, because we have a we it is kind of it really has a, a feel that you'll notice it right when you go down. It's yeah. completely different. So come on. The AC feels pretty good. It does feel good, Dad. Doors still closed. That's good. What's what's that? That's my phone. Oh, it's off. Now we're gonna find, first thing I wanna do is I wanna know, okay, there's our wheelchair, it has moved. Our wheelchair usually sits right here in this area, right here. This is where it sits. This is where it's at. We find it here, here, and back here. And I wanna show you guys some things. Um, on the back behind here, there is a, there's an upside down cross. By the way, I keep this, you see the water, we worked so hard to get the water all redone in this house, it cost us a freaking fortune. But when we came down here, one of the first things happens this is this. We came here and we started noticing all these markings. Right here, 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 here. It's my phone going off again. Right here, 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 and here, here. They they were all they were here when we got here, okay? And so these dolls we actually picked up while well, Matt got these from the road. But this is where if you watch this, I'm gonna send you this picture, Colin, of this picture here. This the demon that's in this house is a soul catcher. What it does is it carries lots of souls with it, and you'll see lots of faces with this thing, okay? So you come in here, this has been burned in, and this has been burned in up here. And here's more markings, and then the dirt here you see here. 
By the way, this is from a witchcraft store. My partner bought it from a witchcraft. I just bought this one at uh, a spirit a spirit store. But that's a pentagram. Oh wow! There, and then it's got the markings on each side all the way. And these kids were fooling around with it here. Did some things. <laughs> no, no, I'm not shitting you guys. Well, you guys, your electronics are gonna go all freaky wax world. Once you go back, you're gonna look. A lot of this shit's not gonna work. <laughs> okay, so you can so. see it right here. You can see all the way around here, and so it's still right here. It's still got it. So that was crazy upstairs when it said Zig Heil, right? Mm -hmm. uh, that kind of scares me. That really kind of scares me a lot. By the way, this right here. Is that, um, this was a, I keep this in the, the 1322 to kind of always remind myself what it was like because we came here, the water flooded out of here, about a burst of pipes when we first got to this house and we had to get it all fixed back up. And so I keep these pipes here and I would say, ooh, ooh, yes, thank you for being here. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to leave this here so you guys can see that. Yeah. This is, we started look, figuring this out. We had a guy, a demonologist, look at this, and he said that it was pointing for something, something, something in this area that they were doing that was some, some, something they were adding to what they were doing to here. And so we're going to come back in here. We have all these rocks. You see these rocks? They're always being thrown. We have, like, rocks and pieces of things being thrown. And so and this is interesting, too. We've been noticing burned charcoal stuff here we don't know why they're there that's not there that's never here and so i don't understand that but i'm gonna take you guys to another part of the house now listen we go over here we've had women cry we've had women have a lot of problems in this area so your big thing is is if you start feeling bad we're done okay this is an area house where we keep uh, we keep a little silent till you get, finally get here so we're going to walk over here the big thing too is it is very low so you get over here once you get over there it's not so low so come on in, get down low, all the way to here. 10 bucks, that's my partner calling me, telling me we got a lot of something happening. So listen, why would you have shelves of dirt here? And also, you ready for this? A tombstone in the basement, a kid's tombstone at the back, and grave markers here, and tombstones here. And we started digging through this and we started finding rib bones of people here. And we've had women tell me that they feel like so sad that there's people in here. We're eventually gonna run LIDAR in this to see what the hell happened. Something happened here. There's also pantyhose behind us here. And this is also called coffin to grave. This is how they used to drop them down with a dowel system to two feet under. Is that crazy or what? So you're saying there are actual bodies Positive, here. positive. Right here. In positive, the, in the right basement. here. That's a tombstone, yep. And this is it. This is part of the tombs. You see it right here. Look. Wow. That's right here. Those are those are rocks. The he was that was his job, right? So I mean, I'm sure he just kept it, maintained it, and you know what? Whatever they did upstairs, I think they brought him here. You think there were murders here? You said it, and I didn't. I will not say that. I do not know that for sure, but I do find some rib bones, which are interesting in here, and we've been finding a lot of, like, the different trinkets. It throws... It. This rock gets pushed all the time. The wheelchair gets pushed. We find, like, trinkets that are in that frickin' closet upstairs from, from that, you know, from that uh, cupboard from here, and it's like it's showing us things. But you can see here, you can actually see where that is. How crazy is that? I feel definitely very weird down so, here. Uh, so this is what people tell me. That, that this is the, I've had people tell me this is the most haunted basement they've ever been in. Period. They'll feel like they're on a, on a vomit. Do you feel that? Yeah. Almost like your stomach wants to come out of your throat. A lot of anxiety. Okay. Yeah. That's fucking crazy that their bodies right there. We know there are. Wow. That's crazy. So I want you guys tonight, when you're investigating, to try to get some get some information here. We 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 do our best because we've been noticing these things here showing up, and where they used to be. And we think these are different parts of uh, uh, where they actually did some bad things through here. But these were here. This was here. This was this was in the backyard. This was in here. There's somebody here. There's somebody upstairs. That's why I told y'all, nobody wants to go back upstairs when you hear it. They want to stay in the most one of the haunted basement. I told you guys, so I didn't crazy, right? Yeah. All right, so I'm glad you guys came first off. By the way, I want you guys to know something. Paranormal Files is the rock. They rock that group of Papa Spooks, his mother, and Courtney. 
best. <laughs> they are the best. I really enjoy having them here tonight. We appreciate it. Yeah. God bless Thank you guys. You. I'm glad you guys are here. So you guys, I'm excited to have you guys show some things. It is crazy, right? I told you. Oh, yeah. So I want to do a couple, or mm -hmm. ask you a couple questions upstairs. Let's do it. Just so we have, so I can I stand up. I some banging up there, so we're going to be... I got three minutes of a demon talking upstairs in the attic. I told you guys. Just you know, now? You were up there. He was talking. You guys didn't even hear it. That's what I say. I got it on film. I told you guys, so I'll send you that, okay? Yeah. He is up there and he likes to be, he will be very deceiving. He is sitting in this chair here, and I'm going to show you guys this. Mike, let me call it. He's, he's talking up there. I'm just telling okay, you. Okay, do not sit in that chair. I'm going to show you this. He's talking to you and me in Hebrew. But hey, hang on, let me call you. Let me uh, call you right back. All right, buddy. Bye. Okay, guys, listen. This place is, is charged for like, you know, it, I, I think it's. I think it's been waiting for your father to show up, myself personally. Look how many times my partner called me. I just want you to kind of explain a few of the scariest things that people have experienced here. Like, what are some specific stories of seeing so, or hearing things? Okay, a couple of things that are the, the biggest scares that I worry about is we've had things uh, try to mess with your eyes on a regular basis. Now, the stories of it coming home with me a couple times were stories by themselves that were very scary. Um, I don't want to get into that because I, I know, you know, I know how to cleanse homes, kind of like the Foreman brothers. And so I knew how to cleanse my house. It's like rats, getting rats out of your house. It's a little hard, but you can get rid of them. But um, when we're here, we always want, our big goal is to make sure that they're, it's not messing with people's eyes. Well, we've actually had a woman down in our basement on a tour with my partner's wife. His wife was here with us when she saw it. The woman started taking off her clothes saying she was going to have sex with her husband in the basement who wasn't with us. Um, and she said she wanted to stay here and live here in the basement with us on tour. <laughs> also too, we had another woman uh, down there ball up into a, a, do a into, she said she was being affected by whatever's down there, was being affected. She balled up into a, uh, into a ball and we had to lift her up and take her out. Uh, we had another kid who was here and he, he sat in that wheelchair down there that moves and when he was sitting in that wheelchair he was getting after the Mr. Demon who sits like he likes to sit in this chair right now and so he was making fun of the demon and he kept continually doing it and so then they put him into the chair he slid down like he was and went completely quiet and he acted like he was paralyzed and they brought him up here, out here, and he, they came outside. And there was there was eleven of them here at the tour, and four women never came in. He went out there. The, they got him out away from the house, and he went up the road and parked away from the house. He was no longer parked here, and he wrote us a review. He said he didn't believe in ghosts. He thought it was you know not real. And when he when he when he got done, he wrote. He said, okay, whatever's in thirteen twenty two is real because he felt that. Um, we had another guy in a wheelchair here, and I should have picked it up, but I was here, and I, I am very disappointed in myself at that time. It kept using his name, Jared, 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 everywhere. We didn't notice it. He was in a wheelchair. He couldn't move upstairs. He couldn't move downstairs, but the group did with me. So when we came upstairs, he was sitting down, and they took pictures of him, and he had this, his eyes, his ears, and you saw the picture. I'll send that to you. His eyes, it started messing with his eyes. Um, and so uh, that kind of thing. We also recently had another group here. The entire group's face started going funky. We had another woman here not too long ago. Her eyes started going funky uh, from here. And so we're always making sure you get you out. That's why we're here to make sure you're safe. Now, I, I always say this to people when we come to this house. Half the cab gets out, the other half never want to come in. And that's fine too. Take the ghost tour, enjoy that. And if you're afraid or too afraid to come in here, I understand that. I've had entire cabs not want to come in here as soon as they hear some of the stuff that happens. Okay. Um, some of the other things that have happened. My, my business partner has had his, uh, he had his uh, finger cut all the way to the bone when he can't figure out why. There was nothing here when he went home from this place. There was no cut. My partner also had been bitten right here on his leg. He's been bitten here. Uh, we've been scratched. We've come here and we found tools all thrown around. The other thing too is sometimes when you're here, you, it kind of messes with your uh, senses. You're a little off. You're like a little off, like you guys were feeling a little bit. But that's kind of what it does. It's, it's not one of those kind of places. If you're looking for a woo kind of place, ghostly place, 
this is something different. This thing right here is actually holding a lot of this stuff down. And it does what it wants to do, when it wants to do, and why it wants to do. Demons work in their own time, gentlemen. And when they do, they'll roar when they want to roar. So what makes you call this thing a demon? Because we hear it. We hear its name. We don't say the name, but we hear it. It is there, you know, the, what they always say, there are seven, there's six demons and there's a seventh demon that people know. A lot of people know the playful Zemo demon. We use the letters Z, you guys know who that is. Uh, but we, we don't like to use this demon's name. But we, when you do haunted deprivation tonight, he will 1000% reveal himself to you. And do you think it's dangerous to be talking to this thing? Absolutely. He, that's why we don't let people spend the night here. Somebody asked me, I've done some of the most haunted places in the world, Colin, I've been there, and I've gone, and I've done them. This place, I would not spend the entire evening by myself, ever. Really? Just no, this place? Just this place, right now. I've been to, I've been to, you know, I've been to the Sally House, I've been to, I've been to Stoll Cemetery. Now, Stoll Cemetery's got something to it. You know, Ariana Grande had a problem there, you know, and I actually, we brought something we think home from there too, we're messing with me and my wife. A lot of these places are super haunted, but this is a different place. This place likes to, it likes to play possum, like it's not gonna do anything, and then it, when, it, when you least expect it, it doesn't. So right now, when we, you guys are filming me, every camera in this household, by the way, this camera is on us right now, right now, it, and I, we go in the kitchen, it won't follow us everywhere it goes. <laughs> This camera's been moving the entire time we've been here. Have you noticed this? Mm -hmm. It's been moving every time. All night long it moves. All evening long it will move. Um, so it, it likes to, it adjusts, it does what it wants to do when it wants to do it. And so I've learned, your dad, if he was here right now, he would, he would be feeling this over here. It's, 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 it's off my left shoulder and he is sitting there and he's watching you guys. He's in, he, is th he finds this quite comical that what you guys are talking about. Because he knows he can do anything he wants to when he wants to do it. I would not spend the night here all night long. This place scares me. The, all the places, this one scares me. When it comes to the history of the house, sure. what do you think has led to this demon? Like the, the things that appeared in the basement, like the symbols. What do you think contributed to this thing being so evil? Okay, so a couple things is, is um, I'd rather not completely answer that one completely because I think that the cemetery by itself and the other stuff that happens in this house is a different story, right? I mean, it's two stories in one, so I don't really want to get down that path. There's something darker, though, that you can just broadly say you think happened. Okay, so if you have 140 bodies that were mistreated and put into the ground and not, just say even 100, were mistreated, not moved properly, and were left, and you don't know who the heck they are, one of, the, one of the most haunted places I ever been to, one of them, was at Tomahawk Cemetery in the middle of Overland Park, Kansas. They have all these unknown graves, and we had had all our equipment shut off at once, everything at once, with this loud, this noise went, oh, but, and then went boom, and turned off. Everything turned off, and it's because those unknown people are there, they're not being, they're not being, they, you, who wants to be your goal your whole life? and find out you, have, you don't know who that person was. Right. Right? Similar, similar. Demons will live in places that are a harvest, that kind of, that thing, but there's something else behind here, a little darker edge to this house, why it's here. And it, 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 this house will never, but nobody will ever live here again, ever. Never live here. I, I wouldn't, I will, again, I run the Haunted Journey podcast, by the way, I have done, a lot of places I will not repeat after me spend any time after midnight in this house. We, at two o'clock in the morning, two two thirty in the morning, all our cameras shut off at once throughout the house. Wow! Every night, Colin. Every night between two and two thirty, they shut off. I'm I'm going to show you guys here when I'm done. My video. We we haven't been out front here. It's probably gone off. It's gone off since we've been in here, just since we've been upstairs in here, 24 times. That's crazy. And there's nobody out here. There's nothing here. Yeah. 24 times right here. My partner, business partner called me and said he heard a demon speaking upstairs when we were up there. Did we hear it? No. Okay, I didn't hear it. I mean, 
So here, these are all the times. <laughs> okay. That's crazy. All that since we've been here. Wow. Now listen, as soon as you, if we hear the demon's name, we're done. You hear me? If we hear that name, we're finished. Okay. Because that's a... You will hear it. That's what you would consider to be when it gets really dangerous. I've watched it go downhill. I've watched a woman, oh, I watched a woman here. She ran outside and took off. I thought she was going to hit her head. She ran outside, outside, and she said, you know, she goes, I can't get it off me. I'm like, what do you mean, what do you get off of you? And so whatever was messing with her was messing with her down in that basement. Wow. And so, so when you're there, you'll feel it. So people out there, when you come to this household, give it respect. I'm going to tell you this. The reason why I bought this house, the, 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 that serious psychic lady that went on our tour, she said, the house picked me. I didn't pick the house. And so guess what? To this day, guys, I make sure that I'm respectful to all the spirits that are in the area. You guys, what do you think? I think I'm ready. What about you, man? What do you think? I think this place is definitely freaky. I told you. And you, yeah. you know, here's the thing is what you'll notice. You'll get real, real calm and relaxed. You guys get that feeling? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, you're calm. I want your guards to... Now go sit over in that chair. The tour was so filled with energy. I mean, Steve is just constantly shouting these stories at you. He's obviously wired up by the house. There's something there that I even feel like may be affecting the guy. Um, Steve was a great host and a great, you know, guy to let us in and do this investigation, but I feel like he definitely is being affected by... Um, whatever energy is inside of this home that he purchased. I mean, when you write your name on paper and you sign a deal to own the house, you almost take over that personal baggage of all the spirits that that are there. Now, these are your spirits now. But, I mean, it's easy to lose track of what all's happened there. I mean, you got this, the pentagram in the basement, you got the bodies that the house is built on, the bodies potentially in the basement, you got the possible serial killer torture dungeon in the top floor of the house with all that carpeting. You've got the psycho mantians throughout the home, the haunted dolls. I mean, there's just so much to uncover and unpack. And it's no wonder this place has a somewhat, as people would describe, demonic presence. I mean, Steve himself will tell you, we got multiple demons here in the house. And it's investigations like this that we're very excited to embark on and yet very weary of because Things can go dark quickly. Okay guys, so it is 11 o'clock at night. We are here at the House of the Dead here in Atchison. Now obviously this place is intense. I mean, the energy inside of the building is stifling. It's making me dizzy inside of there. Um, I can't really think straight. It's, it's very strange and it's giving me sort of the energy and vibe of places like the Sally House um, specifically like the Hill House in Mineral Wells, Texas, if you remember that place we did a few years ago. Um, and it just feels loaded. I mean, there's so much mystery here. They don't know exactly who or what is in this house, but like the owner said, um, many times they think it is a demon and an evil force. So yeah, I'm a little concerned going into this one, just my personal feelings inside of the house. We just did the Sally House last night, and I'm already more freaked out inside of here, just being in there for a short period of time tonight. But, I'm gonna turn this around. Jeff? Yes. How are you feeling? Connor and I filmed the interview. Yeah. Right? But you have just gotten here and did a yeah. walkthrough, but you're feeling kind of weird? I did. Well, Steve, the owner, gave me a walkthrough and, uh, you know, a couple things. Uh, it feels like the cosmos in South Dakota. This is a place where gravity and f forces make you feel off balance, make you feel like you can stand straight up and you're leaning this way. Um, it's every part of this home felt that way and everything again I'm not gonna say I'm sick it's but I kind of am <laughs> chest pain uh, shortness of breath um, everything he kind of said you can kind of feel uh, I'm feeling it so I'm fine um, but I would say compared to the Sally house the Sally house for me doesn't this feels a lot more dangerous to me you know yeah. Sally house has a heavy feel I would say this is about four times that for me. Definitely. You know? I got to agree. And so, yeah, it's, it's it's like you're never on flat ground. I never, it's like a rocking boat is the way I felt with my legs. Yeah. And that's all I can say. It's just energy and, you know, imbalance and, and also not talking properly. It's just kind of confusing me mm -hmm. already. So we'll see what happens. 
Connor, how are you feeling? Well, if you look through this window right now, you can see that REM pod is oh, going shit. absolutely crazy. Oh, um, yeah, <laughs> like we said, uh, it's locations like this that not that many people know about that I feel like are always going to be the scariest. Because uh, whatever's in there, we personally don't know like what it can do. And we don't have any friends or people that we've watched that have done a location that's this. And yeah. so uh, tonight's kind of a mystery. Uh, but the one thing that we do know from the owner is that he says without a shadow of a doubt that this place has a demon, if not multiple demons inside of it. <laughs> uh, I'm freaked out about this place, honestly. Uh, with the history of kind of things that have happened to me in videos where uh i tend to get targeted by these demonic forces Both of you guys always get targeted um <laughs> not me really i don't know why but you guys <laughs> hey all, all i know is uh count your blessings because it's not fun yeah uh but please if you're watching this right now protect yourself um cover yourself in white light because this is going to be a dark one for sure yeah and the last thing i will say before we go in here i love 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 locations like this that have an element of mystery to them um for example there is the soundproofing on the walls upstairs now that's really weird there's no explanation as to why that was put there there's been women's clothing found in the attic in crawl spaces they're still there they're in still the still there in the walls and not only that, but there are actual bones. He thinks there are human bodies buried in the basement. There are grave markers down there from the cemetery that was built on top of. So there's a lot of things that I can't say because the owner, Steve, didn't want to say them on camera, his theories on what might be happening here. But um, just to allude to it, it's really dark, it's violent, and it's unproven, but I don't know. I think it's it's interesting to be able to investigate a place that is actually mysterious where you don't know the full history, but you have these clues. So guys, I think this is going to be a dark one. I already feel it. I'm fucking on edge. But what do you say we go do it, huh? Let's go on it. Yeah? Okay. Holy shit. Here we go. House of the Dead, baby. We are currently in the living room area kind of with the couches and chairs here in the house of the dead um, we've got a bunch of rem pods set up what's interesting is we've got all these rem pods set up but but the only one that's been going off consistently is the rem pod that's in the chair where the demon likes to sit and hang out which and is now, now it's been silent yeah it's been going crazy Sarah. Sarah. and I did ask it if it would just like give us a break if you will yeah it did I don't know how you think it is. So far, it's been quiet. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> Whoever's in here, whether you're a human, a demonic spirit, you know, really, whoever we're talking to, we're here to speak with you this evening, and we're not afraid of you, we just want you to come forward and speak with us tonight. To introduce ourselves, my name is Colin. I'm Jeff. And I'm Connor. So, you can use our devices that are here, the ne necro, I can't speak. The necrometer, the spirit talker, I know you guys know those. But we're just gonna kinda sit for a second and listen to what you have to say. We would love if you can make a noise for us or go touch one of those little red lights again like you've been playing with. I know that you're here, whatever you are. Please go left. Please go left. There's no left. The demon chair or the upstairs mm. the kitchen. Sure. What's, what's the left? They blamed me. They blamed me. Bring it. Yeah, bring it. <laughs> Can you give us some kind of a a sound that is a loud bang, something very noticeable to let us know that you want us here? A stop on the floor? 
Something like that, please. What are you so angry about? <coughs> it's always so quiet right yeah, at the very beginning. Yeah, it's quiet is what I'm yeah. getting at. And even when you guys are setting up, the REM pod going crazy from outside, and then of course yeah. he's noticed here. And the cat ball was going off when I was getting the tour through there, and the other REM pod, now it's just, it's like they're checking us out. Can you let us know you're here again by, you can go ahead and play with this light in the chair. Do you want to come and sit back down for us? Please. I feel like the floor is shaking. Do you feel it? Right there. Do you feel it? I did. It's like a, it's like a thump. thump. The floor. Are you in the basement? Fox, that was when said everything starts going crazy. All the lights turn off, our cameras turn off at 2 yeah. o'clock. Who said that? He did. Really? Yep. We're at 2 o'clock in the morning, 2 through 30 in the morning, all our cameras shut off at once throughout the house. Wow. Do you have a problem with us being here? Clock like a direction, mm -hmm. you know. I would count that as a yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, what bothers you about us being here? Don't tell people. Don't tell people. Don't tell people about you. Remember, he was saying earlier mm -hmm. that when you talk about it, it gets uh, angry. Can you tell me who's here? Um, use your energy on these devices and just give us a name. Let us know one of one of you who's here. You feel that? Jeremy. You feel, okay, we got a name. There you go. Jeremy. Jeremy. Are you feeling that bang uh, again? Yeah. On the floor? Yeah. I don't know what that is. Jeremy, is that your name? Kiss. Kiss. Alright, boys. <laughs> she said alright, boys. <laughs> alright, boys. <laughs> Jeremy's a rock and roll fan. <laughs> Our Jeremy you think wants to try somewhere. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, Jeremy, there it's Jeremy. I feel that bump again too. Church. I don't. I don't understand church. Um, Do you not like church? Do you not like God? Virgin. But let's so, remember Jeremy. Yeah. See if that means anything virgin, to Steve. Church, yeah. virgin. Virgin, church. Or maybe he's just letting us know he's there. Scruff. Oh my god. Okay, this is. We should call your mom. Why? I've signed. And maybe not want to admit this, but every birthday card, every Valentine card, my name is Scruffy. <laughs> What? Yes. No f***ing way. That's a strange... <laughs> I that is a, how that. I get targeted. Hey, Mayor. Um, I just want to ask a question. It came up with a name. And, like, how long ago, for years and years, I would sign my cards to you. I'd draw uh -huh. a little figure. And then I'd, uh -huh. I'd sign it as what name? Scruffy. Yeah. <laughs> See that? That came up with that. Wow. It's right. It's still on the box. Scruffy. I've never seen Scruffy, and I've said, I told these guys that I've signed it like that for since I probably have known you. Yeah. It's our. Uh -huh. It's our only. Our. Kyle and our kids don't know that. 
I would yeah, never that's know weird. that. <laughs> Look at this. Okay, well, I, I just wanted to get you on speaker. And okay. You, okay. All right. We'll get in touch. Okay, I love you, okay. Mom. Love you. I can't wait to See? hear about it. Okay, all right. <laughs> She's so fucking cute. Bye. <laughs> Isn't that weird? Uh, yeah. I mean, you you don't, don't even know that. No. False. One year ago. One year ago, it's kind of like when I first got the house. Yeah. And we decided to go and buy the house. And so we have uh, since been here uh, for uh, one year now, just one year. I'm not sure. Where. You are all dead. Oh. Wow. Okay. That is not a very. Is that? It's like coming from the windows. Boom. You are all dead. You are all dead. <laughs> is that a threat? You're all dead? Are you threatening all of us? Is that what you're saying? 1990s? That's me. And you. Well, and that's when I yeah. started signing <laughs> Scruffy. I married really? your mom in 1992. Dark entity here. Dark, Dark entity, entity here. here. Wow. Interesting. Where do you want us to go in the house? Dead. Dead. Dude, oh, what the dead. hell? House of the Dead. House you of the are dead. All dead. You're all dead. It's saying the name Dead over and over again. It said House of the Dead? No, just the huh. nickname of the place is House of like the Dead. Said that? Can you show me where you want us to go? I'm all ears. <gasps> Left. No fing way! <laughs> no fing Way. It's again left. Yeah. Go and if, left and, if and you're do looking at proximity what? to the phones. Left is this way. Oh, upstairs. Left. What the hell, dude? What are the odds that that well, is that exact timing? Well, I think we should take the cue and go. Yeah. yeah no. I agree. I mean, let's pick up and go left. Let's do it. Wow, dude, that could not be crazier timing. What do you want it was crazy from the moment we started how fast things ramped up in this place. But as we were investigating, the picture started becoming more and more clear, and we decided to follow it. Okay, so we pause. You see, it's about to go off. Holy. It said on our meter while we were packing up, look left, haunting, four, here I am, holy. But again, with the left, like... Is that not bizarre? Okay guys, so we're upstairs right now on the top floor of the house. We've set up all of our devices. This is where we believed this demon or whatever you want to call this entity that's here wanted us to come to. And I don't know if it's showing that it likes that we're up here or not, but the proximity meter, which was on the full time downstairs just now and wasn't hitting once, is hitting right there in the attic, in the little doll area. And if you can see, it's hitting on the green side, which means it's standing here in the doorway. The red pot and, and you had also the oh, music look box. It, look it, it just walked closer. It just turned to the it red. It just turned the red. This is supposedly where the haunting starts to get really dark. Yeah. Are you there in the closet area? Secret again. With the noise? Yes. Noise barriers. Now they're trying to figure out what, why yes. those things would be there. Remember, they were also saying they talk about how it gets angry when you start talking about its secret. Yeah. Why are you so scared of people figuring out your secret? Oh, what is that? It's creaking right in here. Guy. Is that the music box over there? Is it not connected? No, but did you hear that? That's wood. Lock. Hello, who's up here with us? Are you coming up? Oh. Dude, we're surrounded with energy right now. Is Gertie here with us right now? Can you move one of those dolls? 
I'd like whatever this demon thing is to come speak with us. Are you truly here? Heard from a lot of people you're not the nicest. Where are you? Follow the bell. Come to the bell. I'm trying anything new. <laughs> That's just funny for some reason. We want to figure some stuff out about you tonight. Someone is following you. Attic harbors evil. Attic no. harbors evil. Well, let me see. Attic harbors evil. Someone is following you. Wow. Okay. We were just. I was just talking about that. How in the attic? This is where things start to get dark. Attic harbors evil. Someone is following. Who's following us? Can you touch one of these red lights? If you are, go do that. God, it is really eerie in here. You don't look so good, Connor. I'm like, I'm freaked out. I feel like there's someone watching me. I mean, like it said it was, but. Can you knock like this? So, so Jeremiah, was it? What was the first Jeremy. Name? Jeremy. Susan. Remember, one of the theories is there were women that were hurt here in the building. Yeah. Now their clothing is right there. Susan? Were you victimized by somebody in this building? To show us that that's cross. How do we keep getting virgin is, cross holy? Is religion intimidating to you? Are you scared of the cross? Are you scared of God? If you're a demon, I'm sure you would be scared. Miller. <clears throat> Guys, I have an idea for something dark we could do. Let's try to pray and see if it pisses this thing off. Maybe it'll draw it out so we can speak with it. Lord's Prayer. Oh. Is it up here or down there? I can't tell. Right over here. Oh, listen. Hello? Can you, are you, that doll's in there, right? Yeah, Gertie. Oh, what was that? Uh -huh. oh. oh. Dude, what was that? That was like a straight up like vocalization of some sort. If we pray right now, are you gonna be mad? Just laughed at me saying yeah. we should pray. Mm -hmm. Ha ha. We are lost here. <gasps> Upstairs. Remember he said there was a psychic who saw angry women yeah. up here. Mm -hmm. <gasps> okay. Oh, what in my chest. Oh, oh my gosh. Chest pain. Is that you? That's me. Yeah. Talking about before we pains. started. Seriously. Oh, what are those bangs? In heaven. Oh my god, dude. Sounds like religious. Oh. Okay, guys, let's do it together <clears throat> on three. Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Do we? None of us know. No, lead us not into temptation. Right. She is here. As we lead us not. Do you know Hail Marys? Mm -hmm. oh, I don't think so. You're not Catholic. Okay. We're gonna say a, I want to say a few prayers and see what you think about it. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Bless our God, my ashes. woman, and bless the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou, most woman, best the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, and now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Keep going, keep going. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou, amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of I grace, like to Lord. come here. With thee, blessed art thou, most holy, and blessed for the Lord. Jesus, holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for sinners now. The death. I mean, something's confusing my brain. I'm getting like what feels like like very, very hot, like dude, all on my back, and it's like my skin's getting tight, and I'm like, really? Let me see, look, you at, let look, look at your back? face. I mean, it's, you're it's really like, red. It's not like it doesn't feel like a scratch. It feels like my whole like. Like I'm sitting, like, hmm. you know when you sit by a campfire? Yeah. And, like, or, like, you're, you have your back towards the you campfire. Feel the heat you it? feel, like, that ambient heat. If I feel that, like, all There my, is no peace. All my back. Sorry. And, like, I'm getting really tingly. Dude, I'm, like, that's, overwhelmed. That's weird, because when I was, when Jeff was praying, I went, like, oh. Because I felt a cold. Yeah. A cold come by my leg from that room. It's like cold right here. There is no peace sign and shop. Is Gertie up here with us? I would love. What was that? That was a scream. Is Gertie up here with us? I would love. What was that? Is Gertie up here with us? I would love oh, what's that. If Gertie's up here, I would love to talk to her tonight. Or whoever it might be that's attached to Gertie. Where are you? Find my body. <laughs> you know evil, dude. She's here, female evil, oh, find my know. body. <laughs> I've been saying how... Well, I was going to say, the, the, the basement we have been at is... Miserably. Uh, where you're thinking the females were. Well, this room right here, you know, if you remember... Is where yeah. they would have been tortured. Where they tortured yeah. them, and then buried down in the, yeah. in the basement. There's actually tombs down there, Yeah. and there's those little ports where the wires went out to lower mm -hmm. the casket mm -hmm. in there that are visible. But, uh, what would be a female evil? Would that be what's a succubus? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you make a loud noise, please? Potentially. Potentially. Like, it's like teasing us, saying like... Hair. Oh. Again. I just asked the question and it just teased me. I'm like, can you make a noise? Potentially, you know? Mm, potentially blondie. Yeah, blondie bitch. Oh, now I'm getting fucking hot, dude. Right when you said that. It's so quiet up here. Yeah. Port. Port. I was just about to ask, should I go grab the dual port? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah, that'd be good to have some. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because my battery's about to die too. Yeah. So everything our devices were telling us was strange and made sense. Um, we got a lot of religious words, you know, we were getting a lot of violent words, we were getting a lot of dark words. 
And if you do believe in a demon, I personally still don't believe in demons, as in, you know, a typical religious definition of a demon. I think of a demon more of a energy form. I mean, if you want to call it a demon, that's totally fine. And I use it kind of as a catch-all to describe these things that I don't believe are human, that are only created to be dark. And who knows, maybe there was a serial killer or a man who murdered a woman in the upstairs, and that energy was so bad, compounded with all the spirits of the people whose bodies were built upon, um, and all that pressure cooked into this evil, this energy that's its own conscious being. It really seems like there's something there that I just don't feel like it's a, it's a nice person or somebody who innocently died. I feel like it's there to taunt, it's there to hurt, and it's there to scare. But that's why we knew we needed to keep pressing on in the investigation. She will Tears of death. And it's, it keeps saying she. I know. Yeah. Well. If multiple women were tortured, potentially killed and buried here, or even just assaulted. Yeah. I'd be pissed that's off. That's an too. angry. Remember, they, remember he said that the psychic saw women up here that were angry and mm -hmm. running at the, the psychic. Like tortured, like. Argh. So that makes sense. Maybe that compounded energy created something, and I, f I feel like it would be a female. Oh, yeah. That is religious. Everything's religious in this house. Oh, my God. I know. Well, interestingly enough, I'll say I went down because our spirit box died already. Between the, Between the pages. It said something valuable is near, and when I was downstairs, it said, turn around, follow me. And this said, I'm in the corner. That's what you're hearing. What? The witch is he's coming. coming. Whoa. That said, the witch is coming. Witch, he's coming. It's been saying more religious words on our devices, and it just said, the witch is coming, witch, and he's coming. Yes, it's me. <sighs> okay. We have this device that you can use to try and speak with us through. So why don't you use your voice and try to tell us something about yourself? What? Dude, this is f Think about it. I ran down twice to get the spirit boxes. Jeff ran down a third time. This thing is starting to bug out now. It will not let us talk to it. I'm thinking this is paranormal at this point. Look at it, it's frustrating mm -hmm. us, dude. Do you want me to go down again? Yeah, it's doing this to piss us off. Look at it, isn't it working with you? Yeah, I gotta go down again. I mean, look at us. And what the f is this? It's shooting at this right here. Are you over there right now? Oh! Ooh! Ooh! Whoa! Damn it, Jeff's not even here. Dude, it is here. Thank you so much. Can you tell us? Say something to us. Okay, so, finally, this is our fourth attempt to use this device up here. We have it working. So we're gonna ask some questions now. Keep in mind the music box was just going off. And the REM pod over there is just going off. Okay. Toys. Toys and Jessica. The dolls are over there. So who is this? Me. Please. Who's this woman that we're being warned about? Nicola. Nicola? Jessica. They're all here. Are you really a demon? Can you say your name clearly so we can really understand it? I don't 
thing I've ever heard it do this. Screams? <laughs> Can we talk about that too? <laughs> yeah. Run away. Yeah. Where did you come from? Let us know on yeah, com yeah. in comments what they're hearing on this. Yes, sir. Wow. Yes, sir. It's a very clear voice. Can you tell me where you are in this house? Chris oh, oh. Can you tell us where you are in the house? Well, I would take that as a, right here. I would take that as a pretty f clear sign, wouldn't you? Yeah. Can I just hear payment? Payment. Payment. Right this wasn't. Could have been. What? Payment. No, payment. The king of hell. That's the king of hell. It's payment. Are you payment? Mark. The devil is here. So, what do you want out of this house? Are you stuck here and you're trying to escape? It's like hard to think in here. saying you want to violate us? Do you want us to go to the basement? I want you to go. What's down in the basement? What made you so angry? Can I ask? The devil! Get out! I'm hearing a lot of really dark shit. first name. What was my, my father's name was Harold. What was his nickname? Can you tell me what his nickname was if you know everything about him? Or me? Okay, what, it, what is his nickname? Tell me something about my dad if you were referring to him by when you said Harold. Tell me something, anything about him. Oh, weird. It's right beside me. It just goes way. off like. Like impressive in here. I'd like to have this on oh, an audio. Mm -hmm. 
like a, a program, I can plug in headphones and slow it down. What's the point of you talking about stuff that's relevant to us? Are you trying to scare us? It's not just me. Hmm. Who else is it? Should we go down to the basement? and then right when you see the yeah false what the hey, f come here what's downstairs in the basement going to do a voice recorder over in the closet so if you're here follow us over there okay so we're in the dolls closet if you want to show Connor what's over there we're gonna do a DR60 back here and that noise you're hearing is this camera tracking some motion okay we just want to ask who's in this closet Is Gertie here with us? Can you tell me what's behind these boards on the floor over on the other side of here? It's something to do with women. We heard that there were women that suffered up here. If you ladies are still here, I'm sorry for what happened to you. Can you tell us just clearly your name? Is there a demon in this house? You should know one of our names. Real simple, just say one of our names. What's waiting for us down in the basement? Nothing really big. Mm. Well, guys, I think it's time we go down to the basement. Yes, sir. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's, Let's go. go. <clears throat> okay. 
Hey everybody, it's Colin here. Thank you for watching today's video. Hello to all the new subscribers and hello to the rest of our beautiful, wonderful, spooky family. As you know, every single week here on the channel, we give away a free gift bag to one lucky viewer of the show. And this week to enter the contest, all you have to do is like today's video, let's smash that like button and comment the demon house in the comments section below. I'm gonna give you all 10 seconds to do this now. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So go comment, you can comment multiple times. It helps the video so much. But anyways, let's get back to today's video. Thank you for listening to my little spiel. I love you guys so much and stay spooky. Okay guys, so we are down in the basement right now underneath the House of the Dead. Now at this point in the documentary, we are going to skip forward in the footage and this portion is going to be included in our Ouija board documentary. So if you want to see us do a Ouija board right here on top of the pentagram where a demon is supposedly sealed, you can watch the full length Ouija board documentary, but we're going to skip ahead in the footage now. What is a f***ing spider web connecting the chair to that? So we have to skip forward in this footage a little bit because we are filming a Ouija documentary that will be released on October 30th. Be sure to catch that out. We. This documentary is 12 locations in six different states, I think? Six. Yeah. And six different states doing Ouija boards in the most haunted places across the U.S. Definitely go check it out. But something after that session was definitely sticking with us. Just take a look at this SLS session. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. oh he's laying on the ground. Look at it. Oh. He's, oh, it's a body. It, it, look at he's laying around on the floor below you. Oh, he's right here. Right here. Are you? Can you stand up and come out from under the stairs? Dude, remember these stairs have ritual markings on them. There, he stood up. He stood oh, up. Yeah. Black eyes. Remember? He yeah, black eyes. eyes. Do you okay. have black eyes? I mean, when you talk about mapping out, there's nothing on the floor to map out, is there? I mean, what would... It's right there. Look at look, he's crawling. It looks like he's crawling. It said skull and sure. Uh, when you walk by, this thing looks like it, it reached out at you. It said skull. And it's really it's laying right under the stairs. It is. And look at look like it's laying on its butt belly. Dude, it's like a f***ing body. Remember, you know the I mean? bodies are buried right there. Oh, God, right through there. It's crazy how long it's staying on here. Can you go into the other room with the Ouija board? Or make a noise down here, move something? Do you have the, oh. Yeah, do you have the uh, REM pod right there? Yeah. Why don't you set it just down there, right there? It's like it's got its hands up against the wall. Can you make the device go off for me there with the red light? Just touch that antenna. Oh, this is like just totally hanging on with us here. Oh, oh. Did somebody just fall off this f***ing wall? What the f*** was that? A rock. Okay, this is this? Oh. Did that just... Oh, this thing went... Oh, oh my god. It, it went away. This thing went no away. No way. Gone. Okay, that's scheme. I'm here. That just gave me so the chills, man. That sounded like it like literally chipped off the wall. It said Nicole. Nicole. Remember we asked earlier, Nicola it said. Hold on. So who is this? Me. Who is this woman that we're being warned about? Nicola. Multiple spirits, too many to count. Want me to stand up? Yeah. So we always do an Estes Method session. Um, and on that night, I decided to sit in the wheelchair that, as you've seen in the footage earlier, likes to move by itself. 
Of course, there's a wheelchair that moves by itself down in the creepy pentagram demonic basement with bodies in it. I mean, in this place. Uh, this place reminded me a lot of the Haunted Hill House, if you guys have seen videos about that place. I know we had a couple videos that got a few million views back in the day. This had a very similar energy to that location, I mean, with the amount of stories and, and things that have happened there, but it was time to do the Estes, and uh, once again, it was about to get spooky, spookier than I imagined. Okay guys, so to end the night, we're down here in the basement. Now, the room with the pentagram and the ritual is over there. In our Ouija board documentary clip, we opened up the portal tried to make contact with it, picked up an SLS figure underneath the stairs, and we figured it would only be right if I sat here in this wheelchair that's known to move by itself down here. And, uh, and yeah, we're gonna, I don't know. Okay, I wanna talk to whoever's here. Just speak with us, speak to me. Can you tell me who the woman is we were speaking to upstairs? If you guys see spiders on my legs or something, you have to warn me. Hmm. The eaters. Who'd you punish? What's her name? This little or girl. Okay. Who's the girl's name? What's the girl's name? Just forget. Remember English, wasn't it? Everything. All of them. Can you tell me how many spirits are in this house? Jesus! Hmm. Uh, you, come over here. Can you give me a, a, a couple names of the spirits that are here? Step forward, tell me your name. Any names? Can you tell me what happened here, maybe? You need to leave. Why are you Heads so, will roll. Why are you so angry? Shut up. Look in my eyes. What color are your eyes? Optometry. Black. Hmm, I'll get the black contact lenses. There's three of us. Can you tell me where you are? Act. An axe murder. Hmm. You need to check your ears, boy. Where are you? I dragged the body of your family. I don't think you did. I think you're just saying things. I was there. Where's there? Where were you? Did you die Daddy here? fell. Did you die here on property? Or were you buried here? You need to listen. I'm listening. Like, no. I, like I said earlier, I'm all ears. Burn it. Hmm. We're not gonna burn the burn church. Burn the church. A cigarette. Hmm. I'm using reverse psychology. So you want us to go to church? Don't burn. The Another church. bitch dead. Hmm. What? We're coming. How many bodies are buried here? They're in hell. Can you tell me how many bodies are still here on property? There's an excess amount. For sure. Jeff. That was really creepy. God, I'm feeling my energy just getting sucked. Why do you keep calling out Jeff today? It's so easy. 
Yeah, you did call me Scruffy. It's going to be my new nickname now, I'm sure. Stranger. I remember the day. What happened <clears throat> on the day you remembered? What Your happened? Your dad's dead! So somebody died on that day? Were they murdered? The women are coming. You need to walk out. Stop that. It's our camera run out of storage. Did you make the camera run out of storage? Can't let them see me. You don't want us to see you? You don't want to be caught on camera? Oh, uh, duh. Bring me a child. I will not be doing that. Can you tell me about yourself? Look to the left. At least your name. Blind. Blind. You can't see it right now. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. only for me. Hmm. The island. A sea of fire. Was there a fire down here? I don't think there was a fire here. Nine died. I can't believe you Nine actively believe in a it. Fire. Hmm. Is there something you oh, want us... You'll never stay. Is there something you want us to know before we leave tonight? Curse haunts on the spirit talker back there. You need to learn something. What do I need to learn? You need to be it's in the clear. yard for sure. Hmm. It's supposed to be bodies buried. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me how many more bodies are back there that we need to find? Your mom and dad soon. Hmm. Yeah. Right. You need to listen. We're going to be heading out yeah. here in a little bit. Yeah. It's never the same. Blood. Hey, just, just tell us if there's actually a demon here for sure. If it is, what's your... Sucker. Okay. A big demon. <laughs> then what is the big demon's name? Call the cops. Do you have a name, big demon? I make the noise. Okay. The bone breaker. Oh. So the de the big demon is called the Bone Breaker. Ooh. Are you gonna try to hurt us? Is that what you're saying? Break some bones? Oh, I just heard a scream, and then later. Oh, greetings. Well, you can't follow us when we leave here tonight. Yeah, no. That is it's scary, huh? That is no, not allowed. No, because you won't be able to come with us. You're you're trapped here. You shall not follow us home. You're not invited. So, what's your deal? You why? need to wash your face. Why are you so angry? It seems like you're pissed off at everybody. There's a is. knife buried. <laughs> There's a knife buried. It seems like you're pissed off at everybody that comes into this house. Can you tell me why? Search the river. Did you die here? I'm curious again on the big Look for the ground, hog. I just, remember I just saw oh, the ground ground last, hog night. last night or whatever it was I'm not sure I want to come back to the uh, big demon the bone breaker do you like to hurt people do you enjoy the it? the skull okay so what do you do to the skull I just smash okay bone breaker. Mm, I feel actually really fucking weird while we were talking the smell of oranges can I talk to the uh, bone breaker again, the big demon? You like to crush skulls. What else do you like to do? I need, I need uh, you. You can't have me. Nope. Tell me something else. I've been around. Around where? I'm seeing it's, like. It almost seems um, like it might be like, like that, like whatever thing that was messing figure, with that woman. Like a big black. Oh, well, sure. Yeah, exactly true. Oops. Big black shadow. 
Well, it's right. a monster. Are you stuck in this basement? I heard this demon got sealed inside of here. Was that the That's case? That's quite the joke. Hmm. It's obviously not true. I found a lover. Who's your lover? It's right beside me. Please remain crazy. What do you want from us? Are you <laughs> are you still there, Bonebreaker? Ugh, I'm getting like once again. It looks like with my eyes closed. Um, it just said I'm here. Um, I'm seeing like a tall shadow thing by the door. Oh, get down on your knees. I'm not gonna be doing that. No. I am king. No, you're not. God, these voices are creep. Murder and rape. If that's the things that Bonebreaker does, murder and rape. I feel like you're just trying to intimidate us. But at the same time, you won't Let me bite your leg. You still won't tell me what your name is. Is that a question? Mm-hmm, it yeah. is. I'm not hiding. Tell me what your name is. All right. The letter P. Well, we got to get going. Is there any uh, last words you got? You killed my... Now that you've entered... You killed my battery, so we, we're going to go pretty quick now. We're down to Connor. This is your last chance. Whatever you have to say. What do you got? Watch. Three days. All right. Well, we're going to get going. It was good talking to you. Yep. Twice creepy laughs. You can't follow us home either. <laughs> but you have to stay here. You can't follow us home. Yeah. You got to stay here where you're sealed in. Kansas. Yep. You're stuck here. All right. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, my it out. killed this camera and it killed that camera. Both of them are dead? Yeah. His is still going. Yours is still going? Yeah. Alright. Yes, we can wrap up later, but. Uh, this place was definitely crazy. I mean, there's definitely an oppressive energy that you can feel inside of this place. Ah. Uh, but with a place that's this new, there's really not much to say about it unless we go and we experiment more to figure out what's going on in this place, who's there, why they're there. But what I can say is whatever is there, it does feel angry and it doesn't want us there. I would love to go back and check out what is really lying within that house. So at the end of the day, the House of the Dead in Atchison is definitely haunted. I mean, me personally, I felt like it, it was a very similar energy to a Sally, a Hinsdale type haunting where it's just, it's dark, it's oppressive, it won't directly talk to you or make noises, but it'll f with your head. And that's what I would call something that's demonic or a demon. I know that word's become a buzzword in the paranormal nowadays, but to me, Whatever a demon is, whatever you call a demon, to me it's a catch-all for negative energy. Something that I don't understand, um, obviously I can't explain, but it, I don't feel like it's human. And that's what scares me about all of this, is I really don't think that these things that we talk to sometimes ever were human. But, I mean, we got so much evidence that night. Uh, I want to thank Steve again for letting us into his place. And if you're ever in Atchison, you should definitely check out the House of the Dead because I don't know what's going on there. I don't think we reached any sort of conclusion after this investigation. This was simply a video that just documented that there is something going on there. The history is there and we don't know what the hell it is. But yeah, thank you all for watching. I hope you all have been enjoying these Kansas, Missouri videos so far, but it's Colin here. Thank you all so much for watching and stay spooky.
Hello. 